name is Mark Schmidt, and I am presenting the Olmec Civilization. The Olmecs were an ancient civilization called the mother of all Mesoamerican civilization, which we will get to later. The Olmecs were from 1200 BCE, the secular term for before Christ. They flourished during the 1500s and died out in 400 BCE. The Olmecs lived along the Gulf Coasts of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and Belize. The Olmecs branched out to most of the other civilizations, like the Aztecs. In the process, they brought their different techniques of sculpting and farming. The Olmecs were extremely agriculturally powerful. They had thousands of people and were able to sustain the population along with maintaining proper crop growth. Matthew Sterling of the Smithsonian Institution conducted the first detailed scientific excavations of Olmec sites in 1930s and 1940s. He, along with his partner, Miguel Covarrabas, became convinced that the Olmecs predated most other known Mesoamerican civilizations. This gave the Olmecs the title, Mother of All Mesoamerican Civilizations. The Olmecs spoke Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs. The name Olmec means rubber people. It was the Aztec name for the people who once lived in the area, and extracted latex from rubber trees. The primary art style of the Olmecs was statues, usually in the style of humans. For example, the wrestler statue is a 66 centimeter or 26 inch tall basalt statuette that depicts, despite popular opinion and its own naming, a political figure who is just sitting down. At the time, the mustache and goatee were usually donned by politicians. It is believed to be one of the most important statues of the Olmecs because of this political factor. The one exception to the human style is the Tuxtala statuette, which is a small 6.3 inch or 16 centimeter rounded greenstone sculpture. It looks like a mix of a human and a duck squatting down. Most researchers believe the statuette represents a shaman, which is someone who is believed to be extremely spiritual, bearing a bird mask and a cloak. The most common architectural style was the pyramid and hilltop houses. The pyramids were built to house and honor the deities. Usually this was believed to be a very religious and honoring placement, because inside of these pyramids laid a bunch of items relating to the deities. The hilltop wasn't for the rich, like it is today. Most people were farmers. Because of this, people built their house on top of hills, that way they could make their agricultural conditions better for their crops. One of the best known artifacts are the colossal heads. Although the meaning and whom the stone heads are meant to represent are unknown, it has been suggested that they were made to be portraits of rulers. Each head is different, with slight variations in expression and features. But they are all similar in the fact that they are drawn with a helmet-like headdress. Another famous Olmec artifact is the Las Limas Monument. Las Limas is a greenstone figure of a youth holding a limp jaguar baby looking creature. It is found in the Mexican state of Veracruz, the Olmec heartland. The statue is famous for its representations of Olmec supernaturals and is considered by some a Rosetta Stone of Olmec religion. It is the largest known greenstone sculpture sitting at 55 centimeters and 60 kilograms, or 21.5 inches and 132 pounds. It is also known as a la 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 the so <laughs> Due to trade, the Maya numerical system was spread greatly. It was even used by the Olmecs. This was one of the few, if not only, numerical systems there was. There were eight different androgynous, which means possessing male and female characteristics, Olmec deities, each with its own distinct characteristics. For example, the bird monster was depicted as a harpy eagle associated with rulership. The Olmec dragon was shown with flame eyebrows, a bulbous nose, and a forked tongue, representing power. And these deities often represented a natural element, include the following. The maze deity the rain spirit, or the were jaguar, and the fish or shark monster. Notice the word were jaguar is the same depiction that appeared on the Lassi Moss as with being one of the great eight deities. Religious activities regarding these deities probably included the elite rulers, shamans, and possibly a priest class making offerings at religious sites.
The Olmecs planted many of the same crops seen today in the region, such as squash, beans, manic, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. They were able to grow two crops a year, so beans and maize were most common because of how easy they were to grow. Maize was a staple of the Olmec diet, although it is possible that it was introduced in the late development of their culture. The great influence that the Olmecs held over most of the Mesoamerican cultures led researchers to believe that the Olmecs were the first culture to have ritualistic human sacrifice to either their gods or deities. There are no written records of the Olmec beliefs or customs, but from archaeological evidence, it appears that they were not economically confined. Olmec artifacts have been found across Mesoamerica, indicating that there were large, extensive trade routes. The artifacts were made from jade, a semi-precious green stone, obsidian, a glassy black volcanic rock, and other stones which provide evidence for trade of peoples outside of the Gulf Coasts of Mexico. The Olmecs are distinguished by their large population of farmers and their art style. They shared a lot of things with other Mesoamerican cultures, including agricultural techniques, art, language, food, and various other things. This is my presentation on the Olmec Civilization.